City in Birmingham's Star City Leisure Complex. Career-wise, I've been very fortunate to have the success that I've had, and just for the facts, because I want to state them, I've had eight top five hits in the UK, um, which is alone, which is great, and sold over two and a half million records, which is which is pretty good. But because I've now got my finger in a lot of pies, and I have, I'm doing a lot of TV, I'm doing a, a lot of theatre, and I'm doing, I'm writing so many songs. The career path I've got now allows me to more be my own boss, which is far greater for me and gives me time to spend with the family, which is what I want. Although not due till three, the converted car park is already buzzing with excitement. I went to see him a couple of weeks ago in London, and since then I've just needed to get to whatever he's doing, wherever he is. I'd probably even stalk him at his house if I could. Quite excited, actually, because uh, obviously, as I said, we, we knew when we were younger, so, yeah, on a scale of one to ten, about eight. While the support acts drop their stuff, the star attraction finally arrives. Start getting excited. Picture up over here in two minutes. How you go, mate? I know. He doesn't want to be in the shadow of Kate at all. He's such a talented man. You know, his his singing. Um, he's very natural, and that's what people buy into with Peter is that he is a natural person. In terms of the singing career, I think Peter's quite happy at the moment. He seems to be in the dark, going in the direction he really wants to go in, the direction he's wanted to go in for a long time. <laughs> really happy and content and the music he's putting out now is, is a lot different. I'm not sure how well it'll go down with the existing audience but I'm sure it'll get him a whole new audience. He can sing really well live, he can dance really well live, he's really good looking and if you look at the English market at the moment there's nobody with the looks, the voice and who can dance. I don't care what anyone says and I don't think people have really heard what Pete can really do. I know he wants to do stage stuff and TV stuff. There's how hell of a lot more he can do with his music career. Thanks, guys. See you later. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Peter Oakley! Professional Pete knows it's best to leave his fans grabbing for more. Hey, you alright? Yeah. She's had more drink than all my uncles have had in one day. There's only four short weeks till Peter agrees to love just one girl. But today his fans can get up close and personal as he stops for an autograph signing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Samantha, did you enjoy the show? Yeah. Well luck. But not everyone's so lucky. I just want to say hello. <laughs> Pete's very popular, but he's mainly women that he is popular with. When he came out of the jungle, blokes were coming up to him. And I thought, blokes, it was uncool to like Peter Andre five years ago. Guys, thanks for everything. Better get back home, my friends. It went really well. The crowd was amazing. Done three beach parties, but this was the best. Not because of the area. I mean, you know, Cambridge was great. Milton Keynes was great. But today's crowd were the best. Um, it was nice weather. It wasn't raining for once, and uh, and it was great. I'm going to be subscribing on that website tonight. Uh, monthly subscription to Peter's Fan Club. Because we love him. <laughs> I don't know, has he got a big gay following? I'm not sure. <laughs> Satisfied fans and organisers left behind, Star City loses another star. It's the next day, and Katie heads back up to London to visit Harvey in hospital. Peter is left at home Come to play the doting father. Hey, good boy. Ah, quality times, you know, it's um, you can you can't buy this kind of time. Uh, 
I'm not going to say that I wouldn't prefer right at this minute to be sitting down having my, my espresso, but then espresso you can have forever. Uh, nine week old and three days you can't. See, when you're in a house all day, all day, I don't think it's good for you. So peaceful, hey Jay. It's changed me for the better. It's allowed me to, to put everything into perspective and actually appreciate what I've had. Actually start thinking of investments for once in my life, thinking of investments for my son. I know he's only nine weeks old, but I've already got his first espresso planned for when he's 11 years old. I've uh, got his first fishing trip when he's five. I mean, you know, this is great. Later that day, Pete gets an update on Harvey. He's got to stay in hospital even longer. <coughs> For so long, it's felt like Russian roulette with Harvey. Like, they're always doing tests and they're trying this medication, trying that, and it's like, almost like he's the guinea pig, you know? Um, and when you hear something like this, it's like, just unbelievable. Harvey was taken to Great Ormond Street Hospital three weeks ago for tests because of his unexplained weight gain. As they still don't know what's wrong with him, the tests are due to continue. We're used to going in and out of hospital, but this time it's long term and they're looking at something else. So it is stressful because we don't know what the answers will be. and We don't know how they're going to treat him. And it's important for us to be there every day for Harvey because obviously he misses us being around. <laughs> Harvey been in hospital for three weeks and he's probably going to be in for another three to four weeks. Uh, it's hard enough for any parents. I mean, you know, this kid, for his age, is supposed to weigh two and a half stone. He weighs over five and a half stone. Uh, and his poor little heart can't... He's only three years old, you know? Very stressful. Can I hold your hand, Harvey? Can I hold your hand? Oh, good boy. He might be in a better mood when he's drunk, that. Really is. She deals with it in the only way that she knows how. She doesn't want sympathy or anything like that. She goes, she deals with it. She's there for Harvey, she sings him songs. Um, Harvey's still happy. Harvey's in that hospital and he's still a happy little soul. He dumped, he had a all the king's horses and all the king's men. Couldn't put Humpty together again. With the doctors not Ow. knowing how long he'll need to stay in hospital, oh, it's looking doubtful Harvey will be at the wedding. I don't know if Harvey would make the wedding. Um, I want him still to walk down the aisle in front of me, but me knowing Harvey, just the noise and all of that, he would still be hard work if he comes to wedding, but I'd like him to come. Say, camera. Come here. Good boy. Next time on Jordan and Peter, Marriage and Mayhem, we go off the beaten track with Katie and her friends. Whoa. Can't be it. Pete gets the jitters. I've got a mixture of nerves. I've got a mixture of all kind of sorts of feelings. And Katie tries on her dream dress. Wow, that looks gorgeous. Oh, this is fair, man.